Oh, everybody, what's up, everyone? This is Jose Trujillo. I am the world's greatest living artist. Let's go, let's do this. Muy guapo, mucho guapo, baby. Mm. A little bit of cafecito. Yeah, man, I gotta, I gotta work this thing out. You know what? You can, cause it's driving me bananas. Here, you can, you can use the car charger. All right, guys. Let's do this. How's it going? Let me wave up some beautiful people here on the Instagram. My name is Jose Trujillo. I am the world's greatest living artist. I happen to be uno muchacho muy guapo, baby. Mucho guapo, mucho energy. So, so people have been asking me, dude, how do you get all that energy? Do you, do you bottle that energy and sell it? Look, guys, everybody has the same amount of energy. Just like we all have 24 hours. Everybody does. When you're enthusiastic about something, energy is the least of your problems. All right? When you're enthusiastic about anything, it don't matter what you're doing, the energy just pours out of you because because you want to you want to make it happen, baby. You want to share it with the world. El mundo. Mucho bueno, mucho mundo, baby. And so maybe you're not like me, you know? You're probably not like me. Maybe you're like poems, you know, you're calm, you're super zen, mm, you're super like, you know, you're, 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 uh, you know, you're not, you're not much into, into, I don't know, frenetic energy, right? You're not much into that kind of stuff. It's cool. It's cool. But it doesn't matter that you, it, it doesn't matter. It doesn't mean that you don't have a lot of energy. It's just your personality, how it's expressed, right? My personality is expressed a little bit loud, you know? It's a little bit, it's a little bit vibrant. Not all the time. Sometimes I'm calm, you know? It's like the seasons, baby. It's like the seasons. It's like the sky. Sometimes it's cloudy. Sometimes it's clear. Sometimes there's a lot of storm happening. And sometimes I'm just sunshine, you know? Sometimes I'm just sunshine. This is what this beautiful guapo man is talking about today baby just you know <laughs> just obey obey your your energy you know and 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 flourish you know find a way to flourish it find a way to to channel that and 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 put it where it belongs you know hola hola amiga chanel how are you um find find a way to channel the energy um I've always been like this, but I didn't know how to channel it. As a matter of fact, it's, it's, it's taking me a while to learn how to channel my energy. Because oftentimes we spend it on, on nonsense, you know. I've spent a lot of my energy on being sad. I've spent a lot of my energy on being angry. I've spent a lot of my energy on being resentful. Oh my God, I spent, have I spent energy on resentfulness. Uh, and anger, you know, just like, like, like stupid anger, like... My paintings aren't coming out the way I want them. I'm not marketing at the speed that I need to. And then angry, angry, angry. And that energy, that's, it's not, doesn't belong there. Why not use the energy where it belongs? Learn how to channel it. It's like a river, baby, you know? Like, get that water and make sure that you channel it to the proper places. Like your, your crops, you know? Just a second, guys. Don't hang up. I, I got to take this phone call really quick. Boom, baby, boom, baby, I'm right here. I'm back, numero uno, again. So learn how to channel the energy, guys. Find that. Hey, Dad, is there earbuds up there? Mm, yeah. Are you... Find that way to channel it. Find that way to get it and put it in the right place. Yeah. You know, just put it in the right place. And don't spend time on, on, the, on the negativity, guys. It's just, it's not worth it. If you haven't seen my video, I'm actually going to post it on, on, on YouTube. But if you haven't seen my video that I did earlier, it was a long live. It was like an hour long. And where I'm talking about just just feeling grateful, you know, find that place. Wait, so you have to add your front to the okay? Yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't accomplish nada. It doesn't upon, it doesn't accomplish caca. Nada baby. It don't it don't make any sense. It don't make any dollars either. It doesn't do anything. Like like just being angry, like oh my god, I haven't been selling much. So what? Like so what? It, it's, you're 
definitely you're definitely not gonna not gonna make it work being angry or being upset you know it's definitely not that route and the only reason why it's not working the only reason the number one and only reason why it's not working is that you're not doing enough that's all you're overthinking and, and many times we don't we don't think that we're doing that guys I want to be very clear uh, many times we're spinning our wheels and we don't think that we're overthinking but we are and we feel drained and tired but I just want to remind you guys out there look it if you're overthinking everything it's gonna feel like you're overworking when you're not you're not it's just gonna feel like you're overworking it's gonna feel like oh my god all this work for nothing like I guess it's gonna feel that way it's gonna feel like you're just spinning your wheels you know and you you you're not gonna overwork yourself that's for sure you get what you put in guys like until recently I realized that my Instagram became stagnant right it stopped growing because I because I because I wasn't putting energy out like I'm putting energy out content wise I, I probably put more content than the average artist right like just content all day on Instagram you guys see me here live every single day three four five times a day uh, content wise I put a lot of content but I I mean, I put a lot, right? A lot of content. But I wasn't going out and reaching people anymore. Right? I wasn't going out and, and talking to people, being part of the community, liking photographs, being part of the community. That alone is a full-time job, let me tell you guys, okay? If you're not doing that at least at least one hour a day, one full hour, just just liking comments, uh, participating in the community, just just saying saying things you know like 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 genuinely right like if you don't like something don't say you like it but being genuine like you know dude you did great i love the way that you painted those those eyes or or you know where did you get that those brushes those brushes are awesome or you know whatever right just being part of the community and and liking generally liking people and following the people that you that you want to follow and i'm at the place where i can't follow people right because i follow so many people and so, so I, I may have to unfollow people that I don't that don't necessarily engage, right? So that I can go follow more people. But but that's not where it's at. It's 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 going and participating in the community. That's where it's at. It used to be following and follow and follow and follow. And everybody did that. I did that. Sadly, um, but but that's not that's not where it's at. That's very g- generic, and it doesn't work that way. It's not until recently that I began to understand, dude. I produce a lot of content. But I'm not reaching people on Instagram. I'm not reaching people. So, so what do I do? Do I sit and cry, or, or, or do I get proactive and go reach new people? You know, go reach new people. Uh, and there is no easy way of doing it. You know, there's no easy way of doing it. People try to do it. I did it. So I'm just being honest with you guys. People try to do it by going and buying services. I, I bought a very expensive service that didn't do shit for me all it did was give me a big headache um it, it, there is no shortcut i want to make that clear okay there is no shortcut it does not exist it will never exist it is a lie it doesn't work and if and if the shortcut works those people won't buy nothing. Those people won't buy into your message. They won't buy into your ideas. They won't buy your paintings. They just don't care because you attain them through a shortcut. Shortcut does not work. Chanel says, I was thinking about that today. I feel like Pinterest and Facebook are great. They're all great, all seven of them. You need to be on all of them, you know? Pinterest, Facebook, Twitter, Insta- uh, Instagram, everything. LinkedIn. If you're not on LinkedIn, LinkedIn is actually the biggest one right now, according to Gary Vaynerchuk. LinkedIn is like LinkedIn and TikTok. I have to get back to TikTok, baby. Doing some doing some videos on TikTok. TikTok, yeah. It used to be hold on. It used, it used to be mus- musically, and now it's TikTok, and and it is uh, it is a, a huge platform now i mean it's a bunch of 12 year olds right so so you can't really like get all serious and whatnot but but you have to respect the platform it's a bunch of 12 year olds who 
three, four, five years down the line, just like when Instagram started, are going to start paying attention to your artwork, to your message, to the things you're saying. And, you know, I, I've gotten a lot of sales from, from Snapchat. A lot of people don't even use Snapchat. Snapchat, baby, that's where it's at too. Anything, because here's, here's the key, guys. Now that I'm getting into this, here's the key. Here's what I used to believe and what bit me right in the ass. Because I, I can sell work. Okay, hands down. If you want to meet someone who knows how to sell work, me, baby. I've literally sold thousands of paintings. I've made a good chunk of income selling work. I can sell work. But here's something that bit me in the ass. Thinking that a lot of sales were going to come from a single channel, right? A single channel of distribution. And that drove me nuts. Not respecting every single channel. Look, guys, if you sell one painting a week, one, okay, just one, on Instagram, don't complain it's great it's amazing if you sold something on Instagram whether it was a commission or something just one thing a week just one don't complain it's a beautiful thing it's 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 amazingly beautiful but because I, I, I am so used to scaling right if, if something works for me I scale it I, I don't go well I'm gonna make one painting no if it works I'm gonna scale because I wanted, I wanted to work, right? I wanted to, I wanted to produce me more income, right, or more opportunities. If, if I have an email and a strategy and a, and a, a technique, right, that I can send emails to someone and 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 and, and put in the effort and make it work, I'm not going to send two emails, right? I'm, I'm going to try to scale it, right? I'm going to go for sending a couple hundred a day, right? That's, that's my strategy. That I don't know anyone whose who's things are working, but they don't do that. The problem is, the problem is that it's not like that with everything. You can't scale everything, you know? Like, and you can't scale it right away. Some stuff you can scale, but not everything, and not right away. So, for example, I went bananas trying to scale Instagram, right? I was like, oh, my God. So, that's where it bit me in the ass. I went bananas trying to scale Instagram, and I got myself into one of those services that were going to help me gain a lot of a lot of attention right and what happened is that one they don't do it enough you know and two they don't do it right they don't do it they're not doing this what I'm doing this this is expensive right if I were to pay someone to be like oh look uh, record my video and go and, and show it to people and make sure that it looks organic and like hey guys look I found this artist he's super cool watch this video that's expensive guys that's not that's not cheap that's at the very minimum is about a thousand bucks a month at the very minimum something like that and so even if they do it even if it's expensive or whatever even if they can do it they're not doing it right they're not doing it right the right way of doing things the right way of doing things is to put effort. Is to put effort. So if you sell one painting a month, I mean a month, a week on Instagram, whatever it is, it could be a watercolor. Like don't try to sell your ten thousand dollar painting, and if it doesn't work, say Instagram, it's not good for selling artwork. Like no, you can sell a watercolor, you can sell a couple watercolors, or a, a small oil, or something, right, to get people started. If you sell something there, it's an awesome thing. If you just do it once a week. If you sell another thing on YouTube, right? Whatever it is, I don't know, right? Who knows what it is? Maybe they go to your to your website or whatever. I don't know. Once a week, if you get enough people from YouTube once a week to your website and you sell something else, that is an amazing thing. If you do the same thing on LinkedIn, on Twitter, the, the problem is that we're trying to scale I know that's the problem. I know, hands down, that is the problem. Everybody, everybody loses there. I lost there, and everybody loses there. I've seen it over and over. They're like, oh, I want to sell my work on Instagram, and they're trying to get all of their money, and they're trying to get all of their opportunities from Instagram. That is not how this game works. You get one from there, and then you get another one from somewhere else, and then you get another opportunity from a gallery, and then you get another opportunity maybe from Etsy or from eBay, and then that's how that's how this works. And when you have enough things spinning, enough things spinning, now you can double down on things. 
you can double down on them. Now, instead of putting five posts, you know, if you're aggressive, five posts a day on Instagram or, on, I mean, on Facebook, now you're able to afford, right, because, because now everything's spinning, you're able to afford 10 posts or 20 posts a day on, on Facebook. And now that may squeeze out an extra sale a week. That doesn't mean that all of a sudden you start making a sale every single day on Facebook. It doesn't mean that. You might squeeze out another sale a week because you double down, right? Let's say you're putting five posts. You're putting a video and four posts, a photograph or whatever, a little blog that you put on Facebook, right? And throughout the week, you do that every day, five, six times a day, whatever. Throughout the week, someone says, oh my God, I really love that painting. Where can I buy it? And you're like, oh yeah, awesome. You sold the painting. I, it can't pick up. It can't pick up. It's not supposed to. It's not enough force. You're not putting enough fuel in it. It's not enough fuel. But if you put all your energy into Facebook, you'll miss the sporadic sale on Etsy. You'll miss the, the sporadic sale on Instagram. You'll miss the sporadic opportunity in a little gallery show in your town. You'll miss all the other opportunities. This took me blood, sweat, and tears to learn, and I'm just handing it out. I'm handing it out right now to you guys. This is a very difficult concept to grasp if you're not used to selling work. You think that everything's gonna come out of the same pipeline. And it does at some point, but not in the beginning. And everybody gets lost. At some point, a lot of income can come out of a single pipeline. But you need to have it scale so large. Like there needs to be so much movement. And in the beginning, almost no one is able to produce that type of movement. This is why when, when I'm teaching artists, I'm sharing them what I know. I talk to them about different avenues, not just one. Because, because something has to give somewhere, right? Not every single day you're going to sell something on Instagram. At best, at best, that's if you're actually active. At best, you'll sell something a week, once a week. Let it spin. Go somewhere else and keep that spinning. When you sell that thing, that one watercolor painting, print, whatever you sell, when you sell that one thing, right, as it's spinning, you'll have more energy. You might even be able to, to hire someone. You might be being able to, 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 to get a helping hand one, two hours a day. You know, one or two hours a day. And then now you've, you've doubled your energy on that platform. Now you're not just posting once or twice on Instagram a day and, and making 10 comments a day. Now you have someone else helping you and you're posting five, six, seven times a day, right? Literally posting. And now you have a hundred comments or, or, or 20 comments. Let's say that you don't get that aggressive in the beginning. 20 comments a day instead of just 10 comments. You know, let's see here. Uh, who is... RYZ says, I tried your advice today in a New York gallery and it worked like a charm, man. Yeah. It's only because I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> it's only because I know what I'm talking about. I'm not going to tell you guys stuff that I don't know. It does work like a charm. Man. Like a lot of the stuff that that I talk about, almost no artist implements. And, and, and I get I get emails every day. I get one or two emails at least telling me, man, I, I started I started going after galleries the way the way that you're teaching, and and I'm getting shows. I have an artist who's getting two shows a week, and he had to put a plug. He had to like cut it. He was getting two shows a week. You know what two shows a week is? It's a shitload of shows in a in a month, guys. He's getting two shows a week and he's like, dude, I had to stop because I, I was getting overwhelmed. Like, like visiting so many galleries and getting shows. It's it, because it's so damn easy. It's so damn easy. You know, of course it's not easy like to go walk out there and go and talk to people, but, but. Hi, baby. Like Come need to tell you something. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Let me, let me. And this one. All right, guys. Richard says your advice is reality tested. 
thank you so much, Richard. Thank you so much for for uh, expressing this. Who is uh, who is R Y Z Riz? I think Riz. Uh, thank you so much. I gotta get back to work, guys. If any of you want to book a coaching call with me, uh, it is three hundred dollars an hour. Here's my pitch. Okay, but it's a hell of a thing. It is a hell of a thing. I'm going to show you, I'm going to share with you guys things that I don't talk about here. Okay? We're going to go deeper. Uh, thank you. Selini says, I uh, appreciate your knowledge. You're a G. Fist bump. Take care, guys. Talk to you soon, all right? Bye-bye.